Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, first of all, thanks for uh, subscribing my channel. Okay, uh, today we will be seeing about the electrical cable schedule. Okay, some of you has commented to make me a video on the cable schedule. So we will see uh, what is exactly a cable schedule. Okay, uh, you have seen in my last videos that we have to do a cable sizing. Okay, so once we do a cable sizing calculations, we can make this document. Okay. So cable schedule is nothing but a schedule. See, this is a schedule. Okay, consists of your power cables. Control cables. And signal cables. Okay, so basically it is a list of list of cables. Okay, schedule of cables. So what cables? That is power cables, control cables, and signal cables. Okay. So let's see one example. You have sized. So once you have sized the motor, okay. So for uh, motor there is a power cable. So whatever sizing you have done sizing calculations from that you will get the power cable size. Okay. So you have to include it. See in electrical basically you know this you have to start it from transformer. Okay. From transformer it is going to feed your MCC or your PMCC. And from your PMCC or MCC, there will be one MCC or two MCCs. From there, from MCC, you have to fit to the motor. Okay. So you have to consider all the cables, like power cable. See, this is one of the power cable. Let's say it is a three core ninety five. Okay. Then it is a LCS cable. That is a control cable. So this is your seven core two point five cable. Okay. Then third is your space heater. You have to consider a cable for a space heater also. That is three core two point five. And again, depending on the motor rating, there are RTDs and BTDs in the motors. Okay, so for RTDs and BTDs, there are special cables like eight triad cables, or it could be eight triad, or it could be twelve triad cables also. Twelve triad. Okay, so these cables are basically connecting from your smart relays to your uh, RTDs and BTDs. Okay, these RTDs and BTDs basically are for the measuring the temperatures of the windings that is for RTD and measuring the bearing of the motors that is for BTDs used. Okay, so these are the uh, power cables. Control cables and the signal cables. So these are the three types of cables which you will be including in your cable schedule. Okay. So I hope you have understand some basic idea. Okay. So once you understand the cables, you have the cable sizes. You can mention the cable schedule. Okay. One more thing, just to be noted, in a cable schedule, you have to mention the tags for the cable. For every cable, there is a tagging. Okay. Like based on a tagging philosophy, you have to make a tag for the cables. Okay, so once you have here incorporated a tag, let's say based on tagging philosophy, you have got a x x zero one is a tag for the cable. From there, you have to mention from where the cable is going to lay. That is from MCC till motor end. So you can give some description the motor like blower motor, or you can say fan motor, depending on what kind of motor it is. Okay, and you can mention the KW rating of the motor here. So from MCC till motor end, you have to then you have to mention the size of the cable like. Three core ninety five, or control cable like seven core two point five, or three core two point five, or a eight triad cable. That you have to mention here, and here you will be mentioning the length. Okay, so normally it is two fifty meters or hundred meters or whatever length you have got in a cable schedule. So that is from your MCC till the motor end. Okay, so that length has to be mentioned, and here last is the runs of the cable. For example, this runs comes in uh, in power cables. It could be single run cable or it could be a Two run, two two runs of cables. So depending on the motor rating of the cables. So this all the cables you have to include in for every single motor. Okay. So for in your project there could be two fifty motors, or it could be four hundred motors, or it could be thousand motors. So for every cable motors, all these cables, power cable, control cables, and signal cables, you have to incorporate. Okay. So that's it for the video. If you like my video, uh, subscribe my channel, keep watching, and if you have any doubts, you can mention in your comment section. and keep watching me till then thank you bye bye